Hello everyone, good afternoon and welcome to the Guna Factory. Today we are going to be looking ahead to this Thursday's fixture that is taking place in the beautiful city of Lisbon. It is against, of course, Sporting. So Arsenal are on a high right now. That win against Bournemouth on the weekend was brilliant. Yes, we were expected to be easy victors, but it didn't really play out like that. Winning 3-2, last kick of the game. The players must be buzzing at the minute. They will know just how big that win was. They will know what it means for the title race. But for now, I'm sure they have been urged to focus fully on this week's Europa League contest against a decent, but let's be honest, not magnificent sporting team who currently sit in fourth position in the Portuguese Premier League. I'd like to know your thoughts on this one, so get them in the comments section. Look, the way Arsenal were grinding out results at the minute, you would expect this to be business as usual, but sporting will put up some resistance. They have won their last four games and they are known for producing some great talents. Famously, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo burst onto the scene here, but also more recently, players like Bruno Fernandes, João Moutinho. So they are known for at times having some decent players on their books. And a player Arsenal fans will know only too well. He was loved while he was with us. Didn't really go the way everyone would have hoped, but Hector Bellerin will hopefully feature when we play them. And I'm sure he will be bang up for this game. We all know his qualities. He's rapido. Well, at least he used to be. So it will be interesting to see what kind of player he is now. So in terms of our team, it's going to be interesting to see how we line up. You know Arteta. He likes putting out a strong team. But at some point, you would like to think we have to compromise some players. It looks like we're going to be in a title race right till the end. And we can't play our best team in the Europa League and the Premier League two times a week so I would expect some players to be rested. I'd go Ramsdale and goal. He's played in the last few Europa League games and I don't expect this one to be any different. Tierney, then Gabriel or Saliba and Rob Holden might come in just for a game. He's played in the Europa League a few times this season and it just gives you a chance to rest either Gabriel or Saliba. Then whichever one plays this game, you would then switch them out next game, give the other one a rest. Then you'd probably go Tommy Asu at right back. Jorginho in midfield with Xhaka, Fabio Vieira. Then I would go Reese Nelson right wing, Martinelli left wing and Enketia up top. Look, we won't have Trossard for this game. We all know he come off injured after 21 minutes in the Bournemouth game. So Martinelli and Enketia, you would think, have to play. And this, again, is reason why we are so desperately need Gabriel Jesus back as soon as possible. We've all seen the videos of him coming back to training, involved in the little training games. So it won't be long until he graces our pitch again. It's going to be massive when he's back. We all know he makes all the players around him better. And having him come back for the last five or eight important games at the end of the season is massive for our title hope. We've also now got Emil Smith Rowe back as an option. We saw him come on against Bournemouth. Maybe not his best game, but we know he's quality. You know, last season he had that patch where he was so good. He scored 10 goals. So if we can get him back to that level, that will also be massive. When the tired legs start to come in towards the end of the season and in these Europa League games, I think he can feature and he could also play a massive part. So score prediction. I'm going to go 2-1 away from home. We let in a couple on the weekend, so teams will know they can get at us and try to create something but ultimately I think our class will show we should win the game then bring them back to the Emirates seal our place in the last day of the Europa League and look there's still some decent teams left in the in the Europa to be fair there's a couple of Spanish teams in there you know you've got Juventus Jose Mourinho's Roma of course are still in Man United who just got smacked up on the weekend so we'll just have to see how they respond to that but there's still some good competitive games left to be played but I'm looking forward to this one Thursday but it's at a stage now where I'm going into games thinking please no injuries. Look, we know Arsenal are going to try strengthening in the summer. They've had a good few windows where they've been replenishing the squad, getting out the deadwood, bringing in some decent players. And it will be nice to bring in a couple more just so we're not spread so thinly on the ground. But yeah, get your comments in. Let me know your thoughts and feelings about this Thursday's game against Sport in Lisbon. And as always, thanks for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe. It helps me out massively. And until the next one, Gooners, have a good day.